Department nesting. What is it? It's the act of making sure that Google is aware that the various department listings you've created are associated with your dealership's primary sales listing. For this week's episode, we're going to revisit the actual dealer listings we used as an example last week, remembering to obscure and protect their data just in case you're wondering what those funny little pixelations are. This dealer in particular is a good example because they're set up with a primary sales listing as well as individual listings for parts, service, a collision and auto body repair shop, as well as in-house insurance and car rental, all of which should fall under that primary listing. Now Google will try to do this for you automatically. If your information and address are consistent across the board and you've taken the optimization steps we've discussed so far, chances are they'll handle it. The problem is that leaving it up to Google may take time, costing you valuable opportunities. So the best thing you can do is be proactive. So to show you this in the wild, let's go back to our SERP dashboard. You can see links for each of those department listings within the primary sales listing. Convenient, right? Well, that's how it should be, providing ease of access to your customers. Another cool feature is that if your listings are properly nested and a customer clicks hours on the main listing, it'll also provide them with the hours of each of those nested departments all in one place. Remember, when it comes to Google, it's all about user experience. So taking these steps puts you in their favor and will benefit you when it comes to your dealership's ranking and local search results. So how do you go about being proactive and making sure your department listings are properly nested? Let's hop back to the locations listing in your business profile manager. To the left of the screen, click support and select contact us. Under which business do you need help with, you'll select your primary sales listing. Under tell us what we can help with, type departments, then from the buttons that appear, select departments within businesses and click next step until it gives you the option of sending an email to support. Be sure to follow all the steps we outlined back in episode two. Then when you get to the describe your issue field, be explicit. Tell them you would like to list the following departments as located in your primary sales listing and address. Then list each of the department's listings by name and address exactly as they appear in the verified listings that you've created. Hit submit and you're doing everything you can to make it easy for your prospective customers to find your products and services. An indication that department listings are properly nested is a located in link, which goes directly to the primary sales listing, providing two-way navigation. In the interest of transparency, this isn't always the case, but it's a good indicator that all the right steps have been taken. Now, what happens if your department listings have different physical addresses? Well, that complicates things a bit as Google may not want to link them, especially the further apart they are. Nesting can also be complicated by the location of dealerships within an auto mall or shared retail location. The sheer number of layers can confuse Google and can even result in misconfigurations. That said, if you're taking all the steps and keeping a close eye on your listings, you can usually tell when something is off. Next week, we're going to get into another ranking factor and look at what people are saying about your dealership. That's right, we're going to get into reviews. In the meantime, be sure to connect with Wikimotive on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram for more content like this designed to help you sell more cars.